Following the Chinese nationalist expulsion from China, the threat to Formosa, the long drawn out battles in Malaya and Indochina, communist attacks in fact throughout Southeast Asia, there comes open aggression in Korea. Here, the Russian dominated North Koreans launched a full scale, well prepared drive on the capital of the South, Seoul. The peaceful southern democracy was taken by surprise by this communist blitzkrieg, culmination of red aims in the Far East that are perfectly clear for all to see. It is tragic indeed that war should strike the South Korean people so recently recovered from Japanese occupation and ill treatment. In 1948, they had held their first elections under the United Nations, and they were beginning to settle down in spite of the threat from the North. Soon afterwards, a visit by General MacArthur was warmly welcomed by President Syngman Rhee and the people. Now it's from MacArthur's command that the first help has come. South Korea's minister in London, Mr. Chi Chang-yun, seen with his family at the legation, made this early comment. It is no local civil war, but it concerns with all the free-loving countries of the world. If it goes on without check by the people of the world, it will endanger all the free nations in larger scale. Since that interview, the peoples of the free world acting under the United Nations have given their answer and the United States, in a swift, bold decision, has already gone into action. Air power first, with cover and support for South Korea. And sea power, with the 7th Fleet ordered to protect Formosa, together with reinforcements for the Philippines and more aid to French Indochina. Throughout the free world, these moves to halt the Reds are welcomed, whatever the consequences.